This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Might as well keep the reserves as full as we can. This is going in the pot. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Okay, I think that's enough for me. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur.
Father Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard, you foundling. My dear Helen, I told you, I told you quite clearly that this man, that... What the hell are you wearing? My friend, you there. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Ready? Fire! Sir? Good shot, sir! Oh, I didn't bat an eye! Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back... Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Please, put us out of our misery. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, these boys are so silly. Now is as good a time as any. Go for it! We're waiting for you, mister! Fire away! Yes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Ready? Aim. Fire! Sir, shoot the... Excellent. 
Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boy, you are too light. Too light.